Volvo boasts that its current lineup is fully electrified, meaning every car's powertrain including petrol engine ones has at least some battery electric component. The brand's stated goal is to go one step further and sell only electric battery EVs and no gas-powered cars from 2030. So far, Volvo has two electrics, the XC40 rechargeable and the related C40 rechargeable, both adaptations of their existing architecture. With the all-new EX90, designed from the ground up for exclusively electric drives. The car will be launched with a dual-motor powertrain that powers all four wheels. Two permanent magnet motors produce a combined 402 horsepower and 568 pound-feet of torque in the standard version. The twin-motor performance model will have 496 horsepower and 671 pound-feet. Volvo estimates that the standard twin-motor X90 will accelerate to 60 miles per hour in 5.7 seconds, with the performance version one second quicker than that. The chassis features air springs, and brakes measure 15.7, 15.4 inches front, rear. The turning circle, at 38.7 feet, is about a foot tighter than the current XC90. The X90 uses a 400-volt architecture, and the battery will have a usable capacity of 107.0 kWh, with a targeted range of up to 300 miles. Using a 250.0-KWH connection, the X90 will be able to charge from 10 to 80% in about 30 minutes. Cars will also be equipped with plug-in charge for automatic payments at charging stations. The X90's EV architecture will allow for two-way charging capability, meaning car batteries can charge homes, either during power outages or, perhaps even, to sell the battery's stored energy back to the grid during peak hours. Volvo will sell the necessary home hookup and energy management software, though in which market it will see this capability remains to be seen. When away from home, the X90 battery can power accessories or power another Volvo EV. Most of the powertrain matches the newly launched Polestar 3, battery capacity, motor torque output, and even two-way charging capability. Two cameras trained on the driver plus steering sensors are combined to determine the pilot's level of alertness. If the driver is paralyzed, the system can stop the car on the side of the road and turn on the hazard lights. In-car radar is designed to detect children or pets left in vehicles. If the system detects a child or pet, it can display a reminder, prevent door locks, and run the climate control system to maintain a comfortable temperature. The X90's exterior design was previewed by Concept Recharge, although the X90's shape and proportions are more SUV-like than the Concept's more wagon-like profile and low roof. In fact, the X90's exterior dimensions are similar to those of the existing XC90. The wheelbase is the same at 117.5 inches, while the overall length increases by a little more than 3 inches, to 198.3. The X90 is about an inch and a half wider at 77.3 inches, and about an inch lower at 68.8 inches. To achieve a claimed drag coefficient of 0.29, the grilleless front end is rounded, door handles and window glass are flush with the body side surfaces, and the 22-inch wheels have separate wheel cover inserts for smooth airflow. The car's litter sensor, which will be used for self-driving capabilities, is housed in a bulge on the leading edge of the roof. The X90 features an interior design new to Volvo and is mostly shared with the Polestar 3. The minimalistic spare dashboard has a large center touchscreen and is vertically oriented for most functions. A smaller screen in front of the driver acts as a digital instrument cluster, displaying speed and range as well as graphs of nearby cars and traffic. Knobs and almost all physical buttons are removed. The exception is the large volume knob on the center console, tooth selection is done via the column stock. Volvo seeks to make navigating its large 14.5-inch central touchscreen easier by displaying various functions on the home screen when the car is parked or driving, or when a phone call or audio is in progress. In terms of size, the X90's cabin volume is very similar to the XC90. Legroom passengers in the front, middle and third rows are all within an inch of the existing car, at 40.9, 36.5 and 31.9 inches. Cargo volume is also similar, 
with the X90 offering 13 cubic feet behind the rear seats and 68 cubic feet with all the seat backs folded. There are also tiny frunks with just over a cubic foot of space. Volvo previously announced that its EV will have a leather-free interior, and the X90 is offering Nordico instead of leather along with a wool blend fabric. Other textiles are made from recycled plastic bottles. FSC certified wood trim pieces are backlit for a Scandinavian living room vibe. Carpets are made partially from recycled materials. Volvo says that 15% of all plastic used in the X90 is either recycled or bio-based. Another tech highlight. The X90 will come standard with smartphone as key functionality. The top audio system, by Bowers & Wilkins, will feature Dolby Atmos and blast music through 25 speakers, including in the headrests.